Why is the staircase to the armory open? Brooke, did you open the armory? No, I haven't, me laddie lad. Hmm, that's odd. I should go check. <laughs> I've been expecting you. Welcome to my lair. Sting? What are you doing here? I have made this place a secret hideout for our organization fighting the Dark Rebellion. And now that I've lured you here, you're probably wondering what a busy hero the likes of me wants with you. Well, it's simple. I need you to teach me about Taijutsu. No. Don't defy my strength. <sighs> I'm leaving. Please, pretty pretty please, you need to teach me. I invited a legendary Taijutsu user over and I want to show him my skills so he might join us in our fight against the Dark Rebellion. You call the legendary Taijutsu user here for your made up story? Who? <laughs> I have many contacts. I invited someone named... Lee. No way. He knows Rock Lee? Okay, I'll prepare you. Just so you don't waste his time. Let's head to the training room. Let's do this. Taijutsu is a stat that increases your damage when you're not holding anything at all. Just like Kenjutsu, this allows you to do damage without using any chakra at all. But just like Kenjutsu as well, it has the same trade-off. When using Taijutsu or Kenjutsu, depending on your stats compared to your opponents, you can block or get blocked. Next to that, Taijutsu skills also have a cooldown. Lastly, Taijutsu skills scale with your Taijutsu level. So the higher your Taijutsu stat, the stronger your Taijutsu skills will become. As a Taijutsu user, there are also quite a few Jutsu you can learn. Every player will get the Taijutsu skill learner at the beginning of the game. You need to have 50 Taijutsu before you can start learning the Taijutsu skills. Starting from 30 Taijutsu, you will already get a passive skill that makes it so that when you pick up items from the ground, they will first fill up your entire inventory before going into your hand if you happen to have an empty hand at the time. The first Taijutsu is 1000 meter punch. Let's click your opponent to inflict damage and punch them back. The second Taijutsu is Leaf Whirlwind, a high speed series of kicks damaging any opponent within a 2 block radius. The third Taijutsu skill is Strong Fist. This Jutsu costs Chakra, 20 to start it and after that it will slowly keep draining until you turn it off. The Strong Fist is an aggressive style that is the opposite of the Yuga's Gentle Fist. Having it active gives the user a power boost. The fourth Taijutsu skill is Dynamic Entry. This jutsu shoots the user forward feet first, inflicting heavy damage to any entity in your path. The fifth Taijutsu skill is Leaf Hurricane, a flurry of kicks that throws the opponent into the air. The 6th Taijutsu skill is 8 Inner Gates. 
This jutsu has 8 different stages, with every stage unlocking every 50 taijutsu levels, starting from 150 for the first gate, and ending with 500 for the 8th gate. By right clicking the item, you open up your first gate, which will start giving you a boost in power, but hurting you over time. The higher the gate stage, the stronger the boost, but also the stronger and more frequent the drawbacks. You can turn off the 8 gates effect by crouching and right clicking the item. With the 8 gate being the final one, it puts such pressure on the body that the user will end up dying after using it for a while. Once you reach the 8th gate, even turning it off will result in death of the user. The 7th Taijutsu skill is Front Lotus, also known as a double-edged blade. This high-level jutsu throws the opponent up and restricts their movements. However, it leaves the user extremely fatigued, hence its nickname. The 8th Taijutsu skill is Night Phoenix, a powerful forward strike that damages any opponent in your path. This Taijutsu creates such heat that it literally sets your opponent ablaze. The ninth Taijutsu skill is Reverse Lotus, a more destructive version of the Front Lotus. This Jutsu does massive damage to any entity within a 2 block radius, but leaves the user even more fatigued than after the Front Lotus. It is said this Jutsu can only be used once. The 10th Taijutsu skill is Evening Elephant, a series of 5 punches so powerful they bend the air around the user, looking like the foot of an elephant. You need 375 Taijutsu in order to use this Jutsu. Left click your opponent with this Jutsu to inflict massive damage. While the damage output is slightly less than the Reverse Lotus, it does not yield any drawbacks. The 11th Taijutsu skill is Daytime Tiger, an extremely high level Taijutsu. The user punches so fast that the wind around him forms the shape of a tiger's head. Right click this item to use this Jutsu. Not only does it do a massive amount of damage, it also explodes on impact. I didn't want to mess up the training room so we had to go outside for this one. The 12th Taijutsu skill is the Leaf Dragon God, the ultimate Taijutsu created by Taijutsu Master Chen. This Taijutsu creates a dragon through a kick that envelops the user for a while, damaging anything that comes inside of it, thus acting as both a defense as well as an offense. The thirteenth and last taijutsu is Night Guy. This is the final taijutsu, a forbidden taijutsu of the highest caliber. It creates such an impact that it shatters anything the user comes in contact with, including the user's own bones. This jutsu shoots the user forward and inflicts immense damage to anything on its path. After the jutsu is done, however, the user will take damage over a long period of time. There he is! Really? I'm gonna meet Rock Lee now? Matthias, Brooke, meet my friends Bruce Lee and Brocco Lee.
Really? And that's all the time I have for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all for sharing your favorite moments of the series. It's really cool to see how people have all kinds of different scenes that really resonated with them. For the question of this week, if you were assigned as a fourth Genin to any of the original teams from the Naruto series, what team would you want to be assigned to? Leave your answer in the comment section below. Like always, I want to thank all my Patreon supporters from the bottom of my heart for their support. All of this is made possible thanks to you guys. If you like this video and you want to see more, please feel free to subscribe to stay updated whenever a new video comes online. And seeing as so many of you had posted who their favorite character of the Databook series was, I made a quick drawing for you guys featuring the four characters and their ranking. I'll show it to you right away, but in the meantime, I'll have to say goodbye for now. Until next week, I'll be awaiting you.